I'm going to talk about um, accommodation. I'm going to talk about uh, the transport costs. I'm going to talk about uh, living costs, like like uh, um, groceries, you know. So, uh, living in the cities, living in the villages, it is everything is included in today's live video. If you're living in German, you're living in city, big cities, and uh, villages. How expensive it is when you're coming. When you're going to live in the city and when you're living in the in the, in the village, okay? Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, um, oh, I'm coming to your point, Mukwano. Mish MG, I'm coming to your point. Let me first uh, wind up with this. Um, guys, you must know that living in cities, living in cities, when I talk about living cities, I include big cities. Of course, uh, I'll give an example. Munchen, about your Munchen, you know it's very expensive to live in the city. And uh, living cities like uh, Munich, Munich is expensive city. Munich is expensive city. All the cities, Berlin is kind of expensive. Um, Hanover, big cities, they are really expensive. Bayern City, Nayo area expensive. Even Dusseldorf, those places are expensive. Dortmund City, Nayo area expensive. So, um, if you decide to live in city and you want to rent a one room one room house you want to live in one room it is expensive and now the question is how much does it cost to live in one room in big cities big cities let me start with the cities before i come to villages because with villages i often tell you how much it costs how you can live cheaper so uh, i will start with the, sh the shelter shelter a nyumba in cities a nyumba, how expensive it is. Ingagwe, your target is to live in a single room in Germany, but big cities, your target is living in big cities. Hmm? Uh, expect to pay something around 800 euros. One room, one room in big cities, 700, 800, one single room. When your target is to live in big cities and uh, that is complete it's very good warm water bills everything is there but don't forget uh, when you're living in cities in the in the big city you will also pay for transport transport costs transport is some is a, a huge factor here in germany transport is expensive in germany just moving in cities you know you have to move up and down up and down you're planning to come to europe you want to come and live in, in a big city because you will check on google and you will find online houses you want to book online you have to put it into your account or into your mind that living in city uh, if you want to come to germany and you want to book a single room actually you will not book a single room if you are in africa you want to travel to europe definitely you have to book a hotel you must book a hotel hotels here in germany the cheapest hotel really cheapest cheapest per night can be 100 euros 100 euros per night if you're planning to travel and um you want to book a hotel hotels per night organize or prepare your 100 euros per night so if your target is to come here and to live here for two weeks like two weeks then take that 100 euros times the number of days you're planning to live in europe 
but just know that it's 100 euros so for two weeks how much is that one week has seven days uh two weeks that's 14 days 14 times 100 so you have to prepare something like 1400 euros just for accommodation accommodation i'm talking to those and i'm not the one inviting you like I, I want to give you my address no you're planning your journey so cost of living german they're very crucial you must know about it so it will cost you around 1400 if you're planning to travel to book for the hotel in a big city it is 100 euros per night okay yeah and then when you're already living in Germany and uh, you want to search for a room or two rooms or one room, one room in a big city is seven or eight hundred euros. Okay? Yeah. Then I come to transport costs. Transport costs. If you know, okay, the house is too expensive. Now you need to buy a bicycle you know city bike city bike or to to move buses or taxis <clears throat> city bike city bike that's why i advise all of you my beautiful people to fix some time and ride bicycles bicycles you know what i mean yeah city bikes city bikes is the cheapest way of you living in europe um okay don't hotel give offer discounts you can get discounts okay you can get di discounts but the discount will still go up to 50 euros that's something like 50 percent of the normal price of the normal price 50 euros the like the the cheapest the the lowest offer 50 euros that's something like 50 percent okay yeah so you can get a discount remember you're planning to live there all three weeks or two weeks you can get sometimes discounts but not below 50 euros so <clears throat> once again i welcome you guys welcome welcome to my page and uh, if at all you find my videos via youtube still welcome and thank you guys for being there every time i go live every time i download a video i welcome you always okay i'm called lian lagman and uh, best in german to give you the information that i give you so this is an important topic that we have to discuss on you know yeah so that you find you yourself can see where to live better or where it is cheaper or where you can really afford okay yeah i will i welcome you always and always and always if you if now you have started already watching these videos via youtube if you find them on youtube do me one favor like them and comment and then subscribe thank you guys um shelter 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 if the shelter or if this if the room is too much expensive in the city then you can still go part of the city like part of the city gender you know part of the city live far away from the big city for example me i live far away from the city yeah you know far away from the city uh, remember with public transport they are so flexible they are everywhere public transport i mean the taxes you can get a tax at any time you want and um if you want to travel maybe to school maybe to study maybe to do what you can get uh, a bank sorry transport card transport card of course you pay but you don't pay as someone without that transportation card that card looks like i don't have it because i have never um, used the transport public transport no 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 so for me personally i have private private transport but if you just want to come and start remember you're coming from africa meaning you don't have a driving permit a germany driving permit you don't have it 
tragedy na trans public transport sorry private um tolina driving permit ekukirizo kuboge germany um my sister is saying for me i want to travel to netherlands okay okay netherlands is the next video let me first give you the updates about german the cost of living and then you also definitely choose where you want to go because netherlands and german difference is the similarity it's a bit you know difference is the similarity we are all european we are all in european union world and attend so you go rulimi e rulimi moja duiga and actually if you want to study or rulimi online you can just say you know what l3 may want it register me in that the classes that are that are going to start on first of february you're included kuwagen doksoma ku online ingana we mwori umwa babagen do tandika angena kuzo mwezi rumu february register with me okay yeah so um you can live part apart from the city you can decide you think okay now i'm in dortmund in the dortmund let me go and live like 10 kilometers far from yeah from the city you know you can decide to do that go live uh in those villages villages like for me the region is nida saxon but the village is called Haren. and from here to the big city um it's like 15 kilometers 15 kilometers so that is cheaper you're living cheaper and in terms of transport you've planned your transport you can easily move 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 you know arua city in uganda <laughs> okay yeah so if i told you're living my goodness my cat is disorganizing me anyway leave it. it it didn't break anything okay if you choose to live in villages if you choose if you choose to live in villages life is completely different from those living in big cities life is completely very very different from those living in uh, cities but in cities you must get a city bike get a city bike or work a bicycle if they are really affordable you can afford it at 200 you can get a bike city bike so that you can easily go anywhere you you can go or shopping or schooling or you know you are mobile so uh, you can buy a bicycle to help you so if you want to live in cities for utilities utili utilities water bills electric bills gas bills and so on and so forth they are included in that amount of 800 per month okay yeah so groceries you can do your shopping at around 150 euros for example you're a single man or you're single you don't have anyone you know you, you you can afford it 150 euros buy your rice buy your sack of rice sack of beans uh buy your meat uh, and put it in the deep freeze you know yeah so Thank you, Frank. Um, if you have just joined, okay, you're most welcome on my page. And in today's video, I'm discussing about cost of living in Germany, cost of living in Germany. So it is today's topic. We have just started. You're not late. You're not so early, but still better late than never. Okay, yeah. Um, always like and follow the page for more updates about Germany, cost of living, and daily German updates, including COVID-19 updates. With the COVID-19 updates, we are actually still on a lockdown till 10th of January, this new year, 2021. Okay, yeah. 
so guys if you choose to live in a city but some kilometers away from it just know you will ride with your bicycle for 15 minutes from your home to the city or even you can use those public bus public transport public transport are everywhere they are everywhere everywhere as for me personally where i'm living public transport a bus comes just one time every hour one time every hour so you have to know what time that the bus come actually just use your smartphone to know what time that bus is coming you know so that if you have appointment go on one hour earlier go one hour earlier okay you're learning German in preparation. That's very great. There is no way, no shortcut. If you're planning to come to German without the language, there is no shortcut for you. That's very clear. No shortcut for you. You must learn German. Even when you come to my inbox and you request me and you beg for my help and you do what and you do what without the language, no, no shortcut. If you at all you want to come to Germany, if you at all you're planning to live in Germany, if at all you want to come and study in Germany, no shortcut shortcut if you are told you're planning to come and do maybe as au pair au pair still no shortcut and for you guys with a pair issue if you're above 30 years of age don't bother don't bother no shortcut for you my beautiful sister Unless you're in Europe, you're, you're 30 years of age, you want to do it, then you are okay, you can go do it. They will extend the lockdown second or third weeks or after 10th January of Radev. Wagurunyo. Yeah. They will exchange a lot. We, we expect them to extend it. That's how it started. Yeah, that's how it started in uh, uh, 2nd of November. They didn't actually announce it that it is officially we are going on a lockdown. They didn't do that from 2nd of November. I knew it that we are going on a lockdown because some places had to directly close up. Directly close up. Oh, from 2nd of November, you know, there is a smart way uh, things are being closed up and others don't know But if at all you have those friends working in those places, you definitely know that okay now it is locked down So since 2nd of November, we all know that many of our people don't work like those in the hotel section So if uh, if accommodation or if the hotels are locked down and you're planning to travel, that's not possible That's not possible because hotels, the hotels are still on lockdown. They are completely locked down. And those people are just getting 60% of their salaries. That's when you had a contract with, that, with, with your employers. If at all you had not got the contract, those people are unemployed. They are just living in home. They are unemployed. So... It, the situation forced them to search for other jobs to do because not every time life is so easy as everybody thinks. No, life in Germany is at times so complicated. Those who were working in hotel section or those who were new, those who had just been employed, those guys don't have job. They don't have to do what, anything to do because they didn't have the contract from their employers yet. They were still working for job connectors. They're still working for job connectors. <laughs> Azam, thank you. Your brothers and sisters are watching me direct from Arua City. Oh, guys from Arua, I love you all. I love you all. Regardless where you're watching me from, I just love you all and I salute you all. Thank you for always watching me. I love it. Okay? Yeah. So, if you want to live in the city, you have to search for the job. You know, for the job, a good job. A good job cities are really expensive but however due to the fact that most of the things are located in big cities i will give you an example universities big universities are all, all of them are in the cities 
all of them are located in cities so in villages think about it if you want to study you're not going to find a the big uh, any university in villages no we don't have universities here but however we just have schools like kindergartens you mothers kindergartens are there no more um Grundschule, like primary schools are there um secondary schools are there hospitals are there but if your plan is to come and study at the university then for you you can try like go live in the city you go and live in the city buy your car bicycle that you can easily use <laughs> okay buy your bicycle and try to be economic otherwise even when you get some money from the state of germany even when you get some money from the state of germany for example if the state is paying for you your house yeah your house and you're getting something like 450 euros every month and uh, you every time you have to pay for transport means you have to pay for the bus bus are you those city buses you can pay like two euros 50 from here to your appointment and then two euros 50 to come back it's very expensive in a day you can spend like 20 euros 20 euros okay now most of you don't know how to cook or you want to use restaurants restaurants a cup of coffee or a cup of tea is also expensive very expensive very expensive this cup of tea can cost you like two euros plus bread maybe you're eating bread you want a bread with a, a meat like hamburger that costs you money it can cost you like two euros two euros plus two euros that is four euros four euros every day how much is that so life in the city stands expensive much expensive than we the villagers um don't have houses are gonna be high yeah maybe it's not the topic of today but how much import if i'm processing for a visa to germany by myself okay if you are processing a visa by yourself then listen very careful to today's topic i'm telling you today's topic includes accommodation accommodation it it actually the hotels are included if i'm talking about hotels you're going to book yourself a hotel because no one has invited you if at all you don't have any relative you don't have a brother sister nobody to help you out then you have, you have to put it into account that okay now um i have to book everything by myself remember that if you have yourself your backup always the country will accept you i swear if yourself if you have the backup the country is gonna accept you that's why i told you that day i went to the authority to request for my positive or to request for my uh, um, citizenship i was granted citizenship one reason i was independent i was independent i never depended on the country so I will do that video very soon why i got a visa like that uh, how much it costed me and why i was given citizenship just within a day you I, I i tell you these issues and some of you are like no 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 i was given it okay i just had to wait for three weeks for that for this uh thing to be printed out you know yeah so this this thing maybe it has expired but this is what i got at first place first place it was first uh, it was directly five years how did i get it so i will advise you always if you have your money be independent because um this country if you are independent you are going to be popular and popular by all means by all means I didn't beg till now I never beg till now I never get free money till now I never get free money because I'm every time I'm independent so once you know that and then uh, things will come will be easier for you in Germany you'll be granted five years from five years to ten years you get yeah 
so uh the hotel if you're in if you're still in uganda you want to book for the hotel you want to come and set your life your life in europe first of all at this moment is is complicated i don't want to switch to make my my information so sweet by lying to you that it's very easy now it is so easy now the country is really stressed due to covid 19. the country is really really stressed due to covid 19 and we are on the lockdown and no one can tell if the lockdown is ending 10th if at all we won't be added more days to 10th we are on the lockdown and they may extend the lockdown due to the fact that the numbers of covid 19 cases are increasing and i told you sorry i'll give you the example of netherlands every weekend i'm in netherlands because i have some we have some program there so Netherlands, we have been taking more than three people in the car. For now, you are not allowed to drive with more than one person in the car. For example, me and one extra person. Those are enough. And you must put on your masks in the car. So rules are becoming more tough and tougher and tougher and tougher, both in Germany, actually in Europe, in Europe. For Africa, I can't tell because right now I'm not in Africa. So if you're planning to come to Germany, then just know that the hotel will cost you 100 euros per night. 100 euros per night regardless which city even if you've booked Dortmund okay München is expensive Munich is expensive Bayern even our places even this side in Niedersachsen hotels are in between 100 euros if you have an offer if you if you search for cheaper cheaper hotels then it will be 50 percent of the normal price so Put it as, as requirement number one for you who want to come without being invited. Without being invited. And when you're living in the cities, then get city bikes, buy bicycles so that you ease your transportation mean. Transportation mean. So location matters a lot. Location matters a lot. Me, uh, I would say, how much does it cost one living in the village? how much does it cost like now i've <laughs> wait now i'm done with those living in cities those living cities now i'm back to we in the villages let me compare for you how much a room costs in villages how much does this whole house cost because for me i am living in a full house and uh how much a transport means how much a b c d e f g okay if you want to come and live in this in uh, in in villages of course they are very quiet one advantage villages are so quiet and in the village i repeat just like i told you last time in the village you can get rooms of 250 euros now ask me how uh, like how big is that room how big is a room of 250 euros it sounds really oh, so weird because in cities finding a room of 250 euros chizibu is very hard very hard and actually those living in germany right now watching me are like ah 250 really i know really i know you guys living in small big cities are like 250 euros Oh, this girl, this lady is lying, very much lying. In villages, I repeat, we have rooms of 250 euros. Practically, I can show you the whole house of mine and I show you, okay, now this room, if I'm to rent it, I give it away at 250 euros. Yes, I'm telling you the reality. Okay? Yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, in villages, you can find one single room from two, 250. 250 euros per month 250 euros per month but a small room quadrat meters zigenda kubera about 15 quadrat meters abazimbi you understand what i mean the, like the size of that room is really small room but you have a mattress and you have like shrunk how how can i call uh, shrunk um we have this of english 
How we can it say again? Shrank, a cabada, a cabada in Uganda, a cabada. So or now kakabada you have a shrank where you put your clothes you have uh, the table where you can put your laptop and do your work you have a very nice bed you can go to school you can attend your institute you know it is a very organized room so with 250 euros you don't even have to pay extra because you are just a student you are just someone planning your life you're just someone planning you know you don't know you have just come to europe you are you're just here to study. Kai Diana, we get us there. I then shouldn't start out. You know? <laughs> so, um, if you're living still in the village, there is still a single room of two of 350 euros. Just join my live video. Could you inbox me with your number? Okay, let me pin my number actually. But this is, I will pin it when I'm almost done because if I pin it, then messages come before I wind up my live video. Sorry about that, but I will pin it. So, so guys, if you if you want to live in villages in Netherlands. Or oh, in Germany, it's the same story. It's the same issue. In Netherlands, also cities are very expensive. You guys in Amsterdam can witness this. Guys in Rotterdam, witness my live video. I mean, in different big cities in uh, in uh, Holland, uh, uh, Amsterdam. I will really know that Amsterdam is the most expensive city to live in. People in Amsterdam, big up if you're paying your personal bills in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is very expensive. Yes. Sorry, in Netherlands, but today's live video, I'm just focusing on Germany. So in Germany, if you want to search for a single room, if you want to search for a single room and you're living alone, still you can get a good room of 350. From 250, you can get a room, but this 250 is really like a small room with your bed, with your bed and your um, shrunk via set of English. Oh my God, I forget my English word sometimes. Shrunk, wie heißt das? Wie kann ich das sagen? So, Kakaba da Mote Kengoye, what is a Kabada in English? Shrunk auf Deutsch, wie heißt das auf English? Bitte, bitte, Leute, hilf, hilf mir. Und so wieder wohl die Kiria Mwinae, we are fine, Mokwano. So, so, I'm gonna pin it very soon. I'm gonna pin it very soon. In 10 minutes, I'm going to pin it down there so that my live video is not interfered. I'm sorry about that. Okay, yeah. So, close it. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you so much. Marshmallow, it's for guessing. Marshmallow, it's for guessing. Sometimes I forget because we here, we don't, we rarely speak English. I only speak English with you guys online. Furthermore, I don't speak English. No. My family, they speak Netherlands, or at work we speak Germany. So that is the best confusion, that is the best challenge that we have in Europe. Okay? Nange Kwendi. Wardrobe. Thank you. Thank you, Joan Muller. Thank you so much. It's a wardrobe. It's a wardrobe. So, living in, in villages, you can easily afford a room of 350 euros. With the 350 euros... I well, I really know that in villages we have even jobs, very very much jobs. German didn't just concentrate in cities. Okay, cities are so beautiful with everything, but for jobs, jobs are located in the villages. In cities, you can find the universities, 